Well, is it the future of farming? A massive indoor grow house is now being built in Compton. Yeah, it will produce leafy green vegetables and it's all run by robots. KCAL Line's Jake Reiner shows us its potential, potential impact here in Southern California and beyond. Farming of the future is here. Really, I view what we're doing is um, we're just using new tools. Equipped with robotic arms and LED lights to replicate the best parts of the sun, avoiding weather and seasonality altogether. By bringing crops indoors, out of the sun, out of the elements, and, um, and letting them grow at the best uh, possible rate in the perfect environment uh, every day of their lives. We're pretty excited uh, to bring pesticide-free food to people for, uh, for, in many instances, for the first time ever. A multi-million dollar partnership between Walmart and ag tech startup called Plenty, operating inside at the fraction of the land size, is plenty of space, they say. Depending on the crop, we're packing, you know, between 150 to 350 acres of production, or land equivalent into a single acre of production indoors. Plenty already has an indoor farm in San Francisco, but there's another one being built in Compton to serve Walmarts in Southern California. Farming as we know it isn't, isn't going away anytime soon. Joshua Veers is a professor in the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering at UC Merced. He says this new tech will not only create new jobs, but enhance old ones. It's not, you know, to displace agricultural labor. It's actually to reskill and upskill these individuals so that they it can operate in the farm of the future. Shopper Kenya Allen is not thrilled with her current Walmart produce. As soon as you buy it, it's, it goes bad in like a couple of days. So she welcomes the change, if it's not too good to be true, that is. If it's something that will better serve the planet, like reduce emissions and allow more people who actually need food, if it will make it more affordable, then yes, I would be interested in trying that. Plenty's co-founder tells me the facility in Compton will be up and running toward the end of the year. I'm Jake Reiner, KCAL 9 News.